Well, the countdown is on for Taiwan's campaign to participate under its own name in the Tokyo Olympics. By August 29th, campaign organizers will need to submit 280,000 valid signatures to election authorities to satisfy the requirements for a holding a referendum. Only two weeks remain before the deadline, but activists say they are feeling optimistic. Taiwan's name rectification campaign is collecting signatures to hit the second stage threshold of the referendum process. At the Xinzhu train station, volunteers have been collecting signatures for three hours every night, adding at least 1,500 signatures each week. Using the name Taiwan lets us indicate that Taiwan is an independent country. Chinese Taipei lends itself to the impression that we are the same as China. If I were an athlete, I'd very much hope to be able to proudly proclaim that I'm from Taiwan and to be able to bring my flag out to be honored. At the opening ceremony, I like to be able to see my national flag. I like to be able to sing my national anthem. So far, the Tokyo Olympics name rectification campaign has collected more than 200,000 signatures. That's still a fair distance from the 280,000 signatures that must be submitted to election authorities before the issue can be placed on a ballot. The submission deadline is August 29th, leaving two weeks left to gather enough signatures. But activists are optimistic, pointing to the enthusiastic response in Xinzhu and in Taidong, where a pro-localization group has helped to gather signatures. We've been determinedly hoping that the people of Taiwan will rise to the occasion. We want to be Taiwanese, who have a national team and exceptional athletes. Why shouldn't we be able to compete under the name Taiwan? The Taiwanese people's rights will have to be earned by us all. In the last mile, activists across Taiwan are pushing hard to get on the ballot, hoping to achieve a sea change in representation at the next Olympic Games.